Hello, and welcome to Art Snacks. One of my goals with Art Snacks is to help you draw things, things better. And a lot of times, you know, when I was a kid, I'd draw people. And a lot of times my people, well, they weren't so good. They looked a little more like aliens than people. Um, and little by little, I started getting better at drawing parts of people. So today we're going to draw a part of a person. Um, and one of my favorite parts to draw is the eye, the human eye. So my goal is, you're going to draw it with me, and then you're going to practice it until you get really good at it. And then from now on, when you draw a person or you draw their face, the eyes are going to look better. And then we're going to draw the nose, then we're going to draw the mouth, and we're going to get better at drawing parts of the person until we put the whole person together. So we're going to start by drawing, I always tell my kids, uh, draw a football. A slightly flat football. Okay, and stop right there. I'm going to add this little shape right here for the tear duct. Okay. okay. And what a lot of people don't realize is where the cornea is in the eye. They usually draw it out here in the middle. If you drew it in the middle, it would look like the person was scared. So actually, it's sort of under the top eyelid. Part of it would actually go up in here. Okay. Now to be in the center of that, we've got to kind of float out here. So we're going to go like this. I'm going to show you a way to sort of forgive your circles. If you're trying to make a circle, and you go around and around and around and around, and you keep it light, when you finally see a circle in there, you can go back and darken your best circle and erase the extra lines. Now I'm going to go ahead and identify in here a place that I'm going to leave very light. Okay? All right. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to just firm up, darken up the outline a little bit. Now, what most people don't realize is that this is skin, and it has a width. That means, like, down here, it has a certain width to it. That's pink. It's the part of the sort of wet part of your eye there. And there's this little thing here. I like to start make it dark and make it lighter, 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 lighter. Like that. This here, make medium, because it's not white. It's pink, but we're drawing monochromatic or black and white. So, go back and just Let's say it's not perfectly circular, which it's not. Just fine. Go back and make this a little bigger so it fits inside better. I'm going to go inside here and really make this dark. And this is going to create the illusion that it's wet because there's a reflection right here. And sometimes it's fun to put a little line like that and break the reflection. What's fun is there are these little muscles on the inside that sort of pull your pupil open in dark rooms and let it go shut more in light rooms. And they sort of come out like the spokes on a bicycle. So if you start going around that circle, make it some of these. And on the outside, you go toward the inside. And they can be random. They don't all have to be the same. Some can be longer, some can be shorter. This weird thing happens, though. Because this has a color, brown or blue or green or hazel, it also has the opportunity to have a reflection, a second reflection. Now, I don't want to cover all those nice lines I just made, so I'm going to go ahead and sort of start, start the light coming in here by filling this in. Okay? Except for there. One little spot on the lighter. If you want some of these back, you can go back and make them a little bit darker. And to make this look more real, I want to go dark on the outside of this. Lighter, 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 lighter. Dark, lighter, lighter, lighter. Now curving the shape of this eye, like that sphere lesson we did. Kind of following the contour. Okay. Dark. I talk to my drawing, people think I'm crazy. It's okay. Artists are kind of weird anyway. Okay? Now, this weird thing happens. Because light usually comes from above, it usually casts a shadow because of the thickness up here. So it's nice to have a dark shadow right here. It's cast on the iris and on the cornea. It also lets you create great, starts with a C, rhymes with non-trast. <laughs> 
lets you create contrast, makes things stand out. Now, so far so good. But this is a circle or a sphere, so that means it gets gonna get darker as it goes back in here, even though it's white, and lighter as it comes out. It's nice to get a tortilla and it's like a wound up piece of paper that you can blend with. I don't have one with me right now, but I will soon. Make that look more 3D. Now above the eye, there's a shape that's like the eye and the eyelid. Right? And when you open your eyes, it's like a garage door, so it goes back in there. Okay? And if you want to go farther, even though we've kind of done a lot already, you can sort of make the outline of an eyebrow up here. Just the outline. Because we don't draw it with a line, we have to draw it with the hair it's made out of. Usually thicker toward the middle of the eye or the inside. Thinner as it goes out, depending on how you pluck. <laughs> okay. And you can even add a little bit of shading up here. Just sort of bring it home. Guarantee if you practice this a few times, it's really easy and you'll get good at it and you'll be the best eye drawer in the class. Before long, you'll be the best people drawer in your class. See you next time.